In this short video, I'm going to cover three specialized plant epidermal cells. Now remember, epidermal cells we're referring to on the exterior or outside portion of the plant. It'll help it for protection. Each of these cells have very specialized functions. The first specialized epidermal cell are called guard cells. These are paired cells that protect the opening called the stomata. So as we saw in a previous video, we saw the stomata opening and closing. Well, that's because guard cells help regulate the passage of oxygen, carbon dioxide, and water vapor across the epidermis. Remember, while these are holes, technically they're pores because they're regulated. These openings called stomata um, allow the plant to take up carbon dioxide and release oxygen and water vapor. The, column, the colorized scanning electron micrograph shows the closed stomata of a dicot, and each stomata is flanked by two guard cells. And when they swell, it helps it close, and they're allowing it to open. And this is what's allowing these pores to be opened. The guard cells sit within the layer of the epidermis. We can see them right here. So our closed stomata here, they seal up the area. Here's the open stomata. And you can see the guard cells located right here. When they swell up, indicating there's a lot of water, they begin to open, and that is what allows uh, things to go through, the air and the water vapor. And when the plant wants to condense or conserve water, they will close up. So those are the guard cells. In addition to guard cells, another specialized epidermal cell is called trichomes. These are the outgrowths of the epidermis that occur on the shoot and give it the fuzzy appearance. I tried to show some good images here. They play a role in insulating and affect heat and water balance. So they can help reduce uh, water loss because they're just kind of creating this more of a furry-like fuzzy surface. And this is what they look like in a kind of zoomed in look. And they are white and they are little protrusions there. These are two plants that have a lot of trichomes and they kind of stand out and very distinctive here. And they're outgrowths from the epidermis. The last type is called root hairs. So last we talked about a root, we talked about the mycorrhizae, which is a fungus that can associate with roots. Also root hairs, these are small extensions that come from the central root. And they occur below ground and they help keep the root in, in direct contact with soil particles. Root hairs play an important role in root absorption by increasing the surface area of the root. Now from the root we can have mycorrhizae that binds to that, which is a beneficial symbiotic fungus, and that can further enhance water and nutrient absorption. That was a short description of the three specialized epidermal cells in plants.